Hi, I'm live. I think I'm live. How are you everybody? Thank you so much for watching our live stream today over on Tabi Eats. Um, had a good time as always. As you can tell, I'm a little low on energy now because after that sugar high, I think I'm, I'm crashing <laughs> from all the sugar. Hey Dr. Paracord. Hey Sister Mindy's mom. Good to see you guys. Uh, thank you Mindy's mom so much for for moderating Koda X E I M A O oh, can't say that Jackie Caranco <laughs> How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Whew. So eh A one Maha Sue good to see all of you <laughs> Um I am A F K Yes um I am definitely going to be visiting Malaysia this year along with Singapore because I want to go to Singapore. Um, my, my friend there owns a hotel there, so I'll probably go to his restaurant and I'll check out his hotel. Hopefully he gives me a discount on his hotel. And um, um, I also want to meet um, a food vlogger there that, that I've met here in Tokyo. So since now I know a couple of people there, I thought it would be kind of nice to visit Singapore. Plus, you know, they have amazing food there, Singapore and Malaysia. <clears throat> and so, um, yeah, I thought if I go to Singapore, I might as well just go to Malaysia because it's right next door. Kota, Kota Ishijima-san, konnichiwa. Hey, Kota. You know, by the way, guys, you know, Kota is um, a uh, singer. I uh, know she is a musician here based in Tokyo. She's amazing. And Kota, you have a channel on YouTube as well, right? Um, please feel free to um, plug in your YouTube channel right here. Um, hey, Nasha Broad, good to see you, David Marr. Oh, my birthday. Yeah, I know. It's my birthday soon. I can't believe it. I'm old, people. I'm old. See? Ambulance is coming for me. <laughs> hey, Erin. Hey. Good to see you, Erin. Hope you're feeling good today. Kontiki B. Ashley. Katie. Holly. Arnold. Hello to all of you. Oh, goodness. Too much food. Too much food. So I made myself um, some green tea here. Hopefully it'll flush out all the uh, sugar out of my system. Oh, you know what was uh, um, the, uh, the, the hardest day for me? Sakura Spring, good to see you, long time. Um, yeah, um, where we used to make a lot of recipe videos. Uh, oh my God, and we used to make five videos a week. Um, I remember we used to eat so much during the day, um, and so it wasn't too bad today. Um, it, it, it's, it's, I think one of the worst ones were when we did the 17 onigiri uh, taste test, and then right after that we had to do like a snack haul, and then after that we had to do a recipe video of like cheesecake or something, so it was like, oh my god. Oh god, that was horrible. I'm glad those days are over. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, Holly's, uh, son's birthday was the 14th. Happy birthday, Holly's son. Happy birthday. Ah, thank you, Cindy. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yes, you know, so, um, it's been a while since I did a, uh, this kind of chit chat with you guys, um, here at home. I think it's been a while, right? I think I used to do a lot of them before I, I started going out. And so I thought I, I should because I know like uh, some of you have more questions and I usually it's very difficult to answer those questions when um, I'm walking around in the city. First of all, my screen is very small. And number two, my eyesight isn't that great anymore. I should actually get glasses, I think. And um, so, you know, usually the screen is right here. So it's a bit too near. I mean, I can read it, but it's just going by too fast. If you guys uh, watch the streams on your mobile phone, you know that uh, there, there are only like two or three chats, actually two chats that you can see at, the, at once and then they disappear immediately. Judah, hey, thank you, Judah. Hey, Judah, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so um, hey, uh, let's get started. Um, if you have any questions for me, uh, definitely. Um, go right ahead. If I feel uncomfortable answering your question, I'm just going to ignore it. But um, yeah, I'll answer whatever questions you may have because um, 
I'm pretty sure you have some questions. Um, yeah, because I know you guys ask me a lot of questions when I do the live streams, when I'm walking. It's just I can't, I can't really answer them when I'm walking. Especially the cars, the cars and the people. I, I feel like one day I'm going to like get into an accident. But um, I'm very careful, so um, yeah. All right, so here we go. Uh, Katrina, do you have a P.O. box to send stuff? Actually, we don't have a P.O. box. We have just a regular mailing address. So in order to get that, you would have to send us a private message through one of our social media outlets like uh, Instagram, for example. Instagram is the easiest way for me. Um, uh, so you would have to follow me, S-M-I-N-E-2-7. That's my Instagram account. And then send me a message and, I'll, and I will uh, send you our mailing address. Ashley says, do you like wine and what kind? I do like wine. Um, I, I prefer red wine and then I prefer white wine during the hotter months. Um, I don't like my, my wines sweet. Um, when I was younger, in, in my early 20s, I liked sweet wine. But um, I think as I got older, I, I, I prefer less sweet wine. Um, what kind of wine I like, um, it's really difficult for me. I like wine that I think tastes good <laughs> and goes well with food. Um, I, I, I do like California wine. I think Californian wine is great. I like the white wines from New Zealand and Australia and Oregon. Yeah. Okay, A1's question. What did the process of learning to love yourself look like for you? The process of learning to love myself. Well, okay, I'm gonna try to um, answer this as quick as possible. Um, well, uh, as as many of you guys know, you know, it was a long process for me, and uh, um, I had a pretty turbulent youth, and uh, so yeah, for sure, I had to learn how to love myself. So it started out with me actually deciding that I didn't like living that way. I didn't like not enjoying life. I didn't like um, where my head was at. And um, you know, after a couple of attempts at suicide failed, I realized, well, you know, if I don't want to repeat that and I want to try and live a life uh, as normally as I could, I have to change my, 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 my thinking. So, uh, um, I, I actually went to self-help books. I used to like to go to a library. This is before the internet days. And I still couldn't afford to buy books on my own because I was too young. So I would go to the library and I, 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 I saw... Uh, um, I found a book. I stumbled upon a book and, and it really helped me a lot. And it, and, it, and it was the first time that anyone's ever said to me, well, the book said to me, uh, no one's ever told me that I could treat myself nicely. No one's ever said that to me. No one ever taught me um, to love myself. And I had to learn it by myself. So um, although it felt odd at first, I went out to buy myself a bouquet of flowers. And um, that was actually nice. And, and um, I would buy, I would, I don't know, treat myself to ice cream with, with uh, you know, whatever money I had. You know, I, I, I was very young, so I didn't have that much money. I would treat myself to nice things. And then once I started to, um, I think, um, respect myself a little bit more, I realized I had to lose weight because I was very overweight. And uh, I, um, so I lost the weight because, you know, that because um, I felt... I wanted to, and I needed to, to, to love myself. If I love myself, you know, I have to take care of my body. So, um, yeah, I'm all over the place right now. Um, and it was a long process and, and it's still, it's, I'm still in the process. I'm always learning about life and about myself, but I love myself a lot more than I used to. Um, in my twenties, uh, when I finally learned how to love myself, you know, life became great. But looking back at my 20s now, I still actually didn't love myself all that much. Um, yeah, looking back at it, just all the memories of my 20s. I mean, it was a great time, um, but it was still kind of turbulent and confusing. So it was a constant struggle. I think I finally 
learn to love myself completely in my hmm maybe when I got to like 45 years old so it was a very long process for me um, but I never gave up I never gave up so I think that's what matters I think thank you so much Richard Sundown for the super chat really appreciate that and, and sorry A1 for my really really like weird answer just now um, and uh, let's see uh, Ashley, Virginia has good wines. Oh, I definitely have to try that one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what else. What else? What other questions do we have here? Um, uh, Katie is asking me, what's your favorite season and what's your most hated season? My favorite season is autumn. I love autumn. And I... The season I don't like most... Uh, hmm, this is difficult. It's either winter or summer. I have to say, these days I really... Mm, it's really difficult. Uh, summer is terrible here in Tokyo, but I also don't like the cold. Uh, it gets bitterly cold in, the, in February, so I'm really not looking forward to February. Uh, this is difficult. Um, <clears throat> in the summer, I feel like um, I can just be in shorts and a t-shirt and sandals, so that's totally comfortable. But during the winter, I feel like no matter how, how much layers of how many layers of clothing I have, it's still cold. So, uh, yeah, it's difficult. Uh, let's see. Um, what else do you guys have here? Uh, a lot of messages here. Um, Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Um, sorry guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, sorry guys, I'm just looking through your, your messages. Uh, Tamara is asking, how is the weather in Tokyo at the end of March? It's Sakura season then. When is Sakura season? <laughs> when is Sakura? Wait, what month is it? <coughs> Okay, late March to early April is Sakura season, says the man. And the weather is um, iffy. It's good weather, but um, having said that, springtime is always iffy. It rains. Um, it's the, very unpredictable. The spring weather is like a cat eyes. Cat eyes? What do you mean? The spring weather is like cat eyes. I don't understand. It's, it's changes very often. Okay, it changes very often, like cat eyes. That's what the man says. Yes, so just be prepared for that weather. Jackie Karanko, thank you so much. I've been hospitalized four times for suicidal thoughts and deep depression. I think my children are my saving grace. Ah, I'm so sorry to hear that, Jackie. I really am. Um, yeah, depression is um, like the shits, isn't it? Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of people here can relate with you. Um, and I think that's wonderful because, you know, we all come here together and makes us feel like we're not alone. Um, that's definitely the case for me. Um, I, I like, I like, I like um, chatting with you guys because um, you guys really add so much to my life. And, and I think um, everybody here feels the same, I think. Um, so Jackie, yeah, um, you're not alone. Please remember that we're here. We're, we are all here and we're all family. And we all love you. Uh, see, uh, see, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, eight inches of snow where you are in Brianna. Oh my goodness, where are you right now? Where Where do you live? Eight inches of snow. That's like, like that, I guess. Yeah, it's it's um it, it snows a lot in um Yamagata where Satoshi's from too. If you guys follow his Instagram. You, you'll see some pictures of snow when he went back home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Diana is asking me, Shinichi, what do you like to do uh, just to relax? Oh, you know, there are a lot of things I like to do. Um, one, one thing, and it, I know it sounds really lame, but what I like to do, I haven't done it in a long time, but if I have the time, I, I, like, I would love to just stay home 
and just sit here, just chill out here and watch Netflix all day long. <laughs> That's like the biggest luxury for me. Um, I used to love to read, um, but these days I don't read as much. I, I used to read all the time. I also like to go to the movie theater. That um, is such a treat for me. I, I like buying a bucket of popcorn and watching movies at the movie theater. That's very relaxing for me. Like my perfect date would be to go um, have a nice... No, I, my perfect date would be dinner and movies. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Ashley, what are some tips to help with anxiety and depression to help with self-esteem? Hmm. You know, first of all, I, 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 I always have to say this, but you know, I'm not a professional at all, okay? And I'm just, I guess I'm just, you know, like, uh, hopefully talking about my experience will help you guys and, and I'm sure like you guys can help each other out as well so um, I, I um, some tips to help with anxiety and depression I think first of all I think is to realize that you have it maybe because when I first was diagnosed with um, anxiety disorder and panic disorder um, I didn't know I had those things I actually thought something was wrong with my body but once I learned that I had it and once I've accepted it because I couldn't accept it for the longest time I always thought I was a very strong person I didn't think I was susceptible to those things um, it did actually help me to start dealing with it because I've learned to accept it and um, then from then on I just kind of um, did whatever um, um, the internet told me to do to be honest with you, my doctors couldn't really help me that much. All they did was give me medication that um, one doctor made it, the medications made it worse. And another one, I kind of started getting addicted to the medication. So I tried to wean off the medication, which actually was hard. So now I don't take medication anymore, but I do have medication at my disposal um, as like a security blanket, but I hardly use them. Um, like when I was in Yokohama the other day, um, I don't know how many of you guys watched the Yokohama live stream. Right before that, I had I had a panic episode on the train, so it was horrendous being on the train going to Yokohama, and I almost thought I couldn't do, I w wouldn't be able to do the live stream, but I did, and uh, it was okay because I know that they pass i know the feeling passes and i know i'm not going to die and i always keep telling myself this is this is one way i look at it and this is this this way of thinking actually helped me uh get better uh actually and it is like this i used to worry all the time that i would die alone or i would i would something terrible would happen to me like i would have a heart attack at home when no one's home or i would have a heart attack on the train and I would I would um, like um, die without Satoshi knowing or you know my friends or my family wouldn't know about it but that's kind of ridiculous you know I thought I thought I can die anywhere really I mean I, I could die at home living in fear I, I, I used to you know be at home living in fear and staying home because I was so afraid to go out because I, I thought I would get a panic attack and I thought what's the difference though it, when the time comes for me to uh, die, um, that time will come anyway. So um, I thought, um, would I rather die um, living in fear and not doing the things I love at home? Or um, would I rather die, I don't know, like having fun on a vacation or something? And, and so I started thinking that way and it actually helped me. So I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah. Okay, so, uh, hmm, David, Hong Kong or Korea? Uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still trying to decide because uh, Lawrence and Jean, they're both in Hong Kong. So right now I'm gearing towards Hong Kong, but 
Korea sounds good too. The only problem is that uh, it's very cold in Korea. It's colder than here in Tokyo. So, um, I don't know. Maybe Hong Kong. Maybe Hong Kong. I think it'll be fun to make some videos with Lawrence and Jean. What do you guys think? Hong Kong or Korea? Help me out, guys. Because I'm still debating. I'm not sure yet. Hong Kong is warmer too. Uh, so, yeah. Bernie Yi, how's your stomach issues? You know what? I'm not having them anymore. That's the great thing. So, something has changed in my thought process. Um, um, sometime after I came back from San Francisco, once I got my colonoscopy and endoscopy, once I knew that nothing was wrong with me, something kind of changed in me. And, and um, yeah, so I'm no longer having stomach issues. Although yesterday I did, while well, I'm having, I see bags under my eyes again today. Yeah, a little bit tired. Um, Yesterday, I did have some stomach issues. So I do notice that when I get stressed out, I do start having stomach issues again. So I know it's linked to my nerves. So I really have to be careful of that. I'm being very uh, mindful of not letting stress get to me. Yeah, so I have to remind myself that, you know. Uh, Yuka, you read my blog back then. Really? Well, thank you. I, I, I hope... You know, you know that, that, that blog I used to have is very, um, um, how do you say, um, candid. <laughs> so I hope nothing offended you on that blog because some people get offended by what I write in that blog, you know. Uh, Mad Donna, are there dog hotels in Japan? Yes, there are. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's where we actually uh, have a um, Justin stay where we go on... Uh, Trips, yes. Uh, Brad, Shinichi, do you like kombucha? Good for the tummy. I do like kombucha, but did you know that we don't have kombucha here in Japan? We don't, it's not a thing. Um, I found kombucha at a particular health food store here um, that caters to Western people. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a big thing here. So, so when I go back to Hawaii, I always drink kombucha because I do like it. I, I really do. Yeah, uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Right. Let's see. Shinichi the Gigolo. Hey, 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 good to see you. Um, Vac Fink, the check in with your father was very good. Oh, I'm so glad that you enjoyed that. Yeah, I really do. I, I, I'm really glad. Um, I enjoyed uh, filming that with my father and I'm, you know, yeah, that, that was fun. <laughs> uh, Dark Paracord, what would you like to see or do when you're in Singapore? Let me know so we can plan a trip for you. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm mostly eating. I, 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 I really want to know, for example, where is the best place to get laksa? Or actually, three good laksa places. I like to compare laksas and Hainanese chicken rice as well. Um, I've tried the one at the Mandarin, which was delicious. I think that was my first one. I tried one at the Hawker, Hawker place. Um, but I would like to try more. I want to also try a good version of um, that tofu one, that yan tofu. I can't remember what exactly what it's called, but that's actually one of my favorite things there in Singapore. Uh, I have so many. I, I, I want to try the best versions of these uh, iconic Singaporean dishes. And um, what else? Uh, I definitely want to go to that the garden, that the new garden, the the sci-fi garden. I don't remember what it's called, um, but I want to go there, and because I've never been there, I've been back. I haven't been back since uh, yes, the Marina Gardens by the Bay since it was built. I haven't been back to Singapore, and um, what else? Uh, I would like to go to Little India again. I want to explore Little India. That place is kind of interesting to me. Um, just, yeah, I just want to do whatever local people do there and, and eat all the good food there. Yeah. Good night, Jackie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, oh, and bye, Tamara. Thank you so much for coming here. Uh, A1. Any tips on how to arrive at peace with your own thoughts, whatever it may be? 
I find myself feeling so sad, angry, and anxious, and often not know what to do with my thoughts. Yeah. Well, you know, A1, <clears throat> like, I think um, um, some people told you, but, um, I, y well, first, I definitely think you should talk to someone. I think that's important. So make sure that you are talking to someone like a professional, professional. I think it's important to do that because that really helps. Um, if you can, I, I would suggest that. Um, because, yeah, it is pretty serious, you know, when, when you're feeling sad and angry and anxious all the time. Yeah, um, yeah, you might want to talk to a professional for sure. You have to do that first, A1. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I go to see a, a professional every three months j just to make sure I'm okay. Um, even though he kind of does nothing for me, but at least he helped in the beginning, you know, to, to actually uh, realize you know, what I had and come to terms with, you know, what I have. Good night, Francesca. Good to see you. I miss your YouTube videos, by the way. Uh, um, Yuka Muda, in my mid-twenties, I was afraid of getting older. However, when I watch it in Satoshi, I feel like age is just a number. <laughs> in your mid-twenties. Well, you're in your mid-twenties, baby. You're still very young. You have nothing to worry about. Um, just, you know, make sure, you know, to take care of your skin. If you go in the sun, make sure you wear sunscreen. Very important. Um, and um, take care of your body. You know, your body is your temple. You only got one body, so take care of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and um, always, um, seriously, age is just a number, seriously. Yeah, yeah. Age is just a number. Age is num just a number. <laughs> Kimberly. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm. Right. Uh, sorry, sorry. Jean, you're shopping at a Japanese supermarket now, and you're watching this live stream at the same time. How do you do it? <laughs> Cheese Miss, any new Starbucks drink? Well, you know, um, not really. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit... Actually, there, there is one... No, no, that one's finished already. They had one called Goma Goma Goma, which was a black sesame drink. And that's already finished, but I think it was a good idea that that was so short because it wasn't that great. Yeah, and, and now for the, ne the next one is Valentine's Day, and I was looking forward to something really spectacular, but nah, it doesn't look that great this year, unfortunately. Leafy, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, Diana. Is there a food you would like to try that you haven't yet? Yes, yes. Um, well, I would like to try authentic Mexican food. Mexican food. I want to try regional Mexican dishes because Mexican food is so foreign to me as, as far as authentic Mexican food is concerned. Um, and I would also like to learn more about Filipino cuisine. Uh, because I only know the, the basic ones that all, all the tourists know. Um, so so those, are things, those are things I'm really interested in trying. And Indian food as well. I really love Indian food these days. Especially these days, I'm getting really into Indian food. But yeah, I, I want to try more of the Southern Indian cuisine. And all the different um, breads. And j just so much food I want to try. Yeah. Um, let's see. What time is it there, says Stephanie? It is 5 past 3 p.m. on a Sunday. Yeah, okay. And um, G61981, how did you meet Satoshi? You don't look 50. Oh, uh, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, if I looked 50, I would definitely go into a deep, deep depression for at least a week. And then I'll probably have to run to the plastic surgeon. But thank you so much. Um, how did we meet? Well, we met online. Um, I, uh, I put out an ad. I had an ad on the internet, and it was like a, it was like one of those apps before 
apps were invented or smartphones were invented, you had to go to the internet, put your picture on and put your ad on. And I had an ad and he was one of the, the, the people that contacted me and um, I met up with him because he had this gorgeous picture of himself, which looked nothing like him, by the way. And, uh, but I met up with him and we clicked towards the end of the night and well, the rest is history. Objection. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Huh? Onsen. You're going to the onsen. Satoshi is going to the onsen. Lucky you. We actually have a local onsen um, near here. Uh, just like a 15 minute bus ride from here. And um, yeah, yeah, that's good, good, good. Because he's having back pains. All right. Nani? <clears throat> uh, let's see. Sorry, where did I fin? Where, where did I end here? Um, right, uh, A1. I'm currently seeing a counselor. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. But then it's every two weeks, so my questions can be answered quicker through Tabi Eats. Um, sorry if my questions are so heavy all the time. Uh, you know, don't worry. Don't worry. You know, A1, you know, I'm... Um, you know, I, I, I try to keep a balance between, um, you know, more serious content and less serious content. Uh, so when I'm doing, you know, those live streams outside the street walks, you know, you know that I can't answer your questions. So, um, yeah, forgive me if I can't answer your questions right away. And remember, you have all these people to help you out because sometimes just talking to someone who cares is all that you really need. You know, so many people are... Are wonderful here. Uh, hey, Salzen from California. Uh, really wish I was there right now because it's cold here. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, thank you, Shogun, for for helping out. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you Kamura Shinichi, Shinichi, what was the eighties like? I always dream of the seventies and eighties. I feel like it was glam back then. Well, I'm sure some of you guys here remember the 70s and 80s. Let's, let's, let's uh, talk about how it was during the 70s and 80s. First of all, I gotta say, 70, 80s for me, because 70s I was too young, I think. Um, um, because I was 18 in 1984, so the 80s was my time. Um, yeah, <laughs> denim jeans, disco, uh, <laughs> Kontiki Beach. Care to share some of your 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 uh, thoughts on the eighties? Uh, yeah, I used to go out a lot. Yeah, we used to say, uh, "Let's go to the disco, not clubbing." Oh yeah, Tara Records. My sister used to work for Tara Records. That was her job back then. Duran Duran, my sister's favorite band ever. Um, I used to go to the nightclub um, every weekend. I used to be into New Wave. Is that even a word these days? Yeah, so my hair was um, bleached blue or red. I had a mohawk, mohawk at one, one time. <laughs> uh, um, I used to have those um, Madonna... Um, Bracelets. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? There's rubber black bracelets. I used to have them like on both arms. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Those were the days, and and I think it was a lot more grittier back then. Um, it was a more raw time. At the same time, I I feel like I don't know why. I, I it was a time when you know, for example, being gay. We it was a time when being gay was not, uh, it wasn't mainstream like it is these days. And so, um, you know, it was a lot more um, violent in terms of like, um, you know, uh, um, gay hate crimes and stuff. But at the same time, um, people were very alive and, and, and um, I don't know, I felt like the, the, the discos and the, the, the nightclubs felt more 
raunchy than now. Now it seems everything seems to be clean and homogenized. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It felt grittier and more edgy back then. Is it just me? I don't know. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Yeah. Um, hmm. uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. Um, Cheese Miss, could you please show us Seiyu Supermarket one day? I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Uh huh. Okay, good. Very interesting. Um, dark paracord. Yeah, I, I feel like our fashion was a lot more wild back then. Yeah, yeah. Fashion, fashion wise. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, we were a lot louder. I mean, flaming. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it, it was amazing, yeah. <laughs> Big hair, says Diana, I know. Jason wants to know a green tea comparison. Okay, so maybe one day I'll do that here on this channel. Um, big hair, Mindy's mom, I remember your big hair. I seen your pictures. <laughs> uh, roller rink, exactly, you guys remember roller skating? The roller rink? Oh yeah, for sure. Parachute pants, parachute pants. Big hair, roller wink, rink. Oh, I had all those. <laughs> oh my God, this is funny. It's like going back to the past. Oh yeah, the club downstairs at Alamona Hotel. Yeah, yeah, mm. <laughs> culture club. Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, blue eyeshadows. Mm. My sister used to have red eyeshadows. She actually used to put red lipstick on her eyelids. Red lipstick. Yeah. Yeah. I thought she actually looked pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. So, um, isn't that interesting? You you know you know you know what I uh. Oh wait, dark paracord. I heard there's a matcha restaurant with different level intensity of matcha ice cream. Yeah, there is. It's not a restaurant, it's, it's more like an ice cream parlor. But they have one in Asakusa. It's amazing. It's amazing. I think the original one is in Shizuoka. We did a video on it, an old video over on Tabi Eats. You can, I, I think it's on that channel. And um, it's the same ice cream place, um, but they open one in Asakusa. It's amazing. If you like matcha ice cream, that's the best. You cannot get any better than that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, what was it gonna say? I, uh, you, you, you know what I like about YouTube? And in the beginning, I was very afraid I wasn't gonna be able to do this, but you know, I, I, I sometimes feel like, um, I, I sometimes feel like uh, you know, a lot of people think, um, say, say if you're uh, 50 years old, um, you can't really relate to people who are 30 or 20. Um, and then maybe if you're in your 20s, you feel like, oh my God, am I too young to like be in a conversation with um, people that are older? But I feel like it shouldn't be that way. Of, of course, you know, we're all born in different generations, so we have different experiences. Um, but I feel like we can all you know we can learn from each other i i learn a lot from people older than me the same age as me and i also learn a lot from people who are younger than me so um i feel like we can all benefit you know from just talking to people of every generation that that's what i think and so i like it when i see people here that are from different generations and different age you know i like i like I like this meshing of generations. So that's what I hope um, this channel becomes. Uh, <laughs> I am so wise, Daddy Senpai. Well, thank you, Kohai. <laughs> um, Joyce, I am proud to be 65 this year. Well, you know what? Happy, happy birthday, Joyce. I'm proud of you for being proud. You should be proud. 
And um, because we're all going to be 65 one day, people. And 65 is actually very young. Very, very young. Yeah. Especially these days, I think, you know? Uh, and awesome. Allison is in your, you're in your 20s and you never even thought of the age difference. And I think, yeah, I think, I, I feel like um, the younger people get that more, I think. I, I, th I, I feel like a lot of younger people, maybe because there, we, there's the internet now, I feel like uh, younger people grow, grow up faster these days than back when at least I was 20. Um, yeah, how old are you guys? Thank you so much for sharing your, your age. I love this. I love that you guys share your age. You know, I have, I have friends here in Japan that like are like don't like it when I talk about age it's ridiculous I mean I understand but I mean should not be ashamed of your age nothing wrong Esther way to go <laughs> uh, BM I'm old hey no 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 I'm my birthday is coming up next week yeah my birthday is uh on Sunday I completely forgot about my birthday to be honest with you I, I've been so busy these days I completely forgot and, I'm, and and just the other day I was thinking because I was having a bad face day I looked at myself in the mirror you know because I have bags under my eyes and I thought geez I'm gonna be you know when you're older and goodness gracious I don't know um, I know age is just a number and just because Sunday comes, it's not like anything's going to change, really. I just, it makes me look back on life, you know? <laughs> in my lane, you're 20. Awesome. Awesome. You're of drinking age in Japan, at least. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the last time um, I, you know, we were in uh, San Francisco and LA for our meetups. Um, you know, we, we had a lot of uh, younger people that wanted to come but felt uncomfortable coming. And so I felt bad about that. And um, so once again, I want to say here, I really want to say uh, next time, please just, just come on over and say hi. Even if you're 18 or 16 or uh, 105, please come because I've Definitely love to meet you. And everyone's really nice. Seriously, everyone who comes to the meetups, you're just amazing. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, what? Cindy Murata, I'm old enough to remember that when you were 30, you can't be trusted anymore. And old 60s saying, I don't understand. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, a1, how do you deal with that? I lovingly refer to as 30 fear. I'm 28 years old and I sometimes fear not being young anymore. Oh, you know what? Well, let me tell you this A1. When I, my, the best time of my life was, was in my 30s. Yeah, my 30s. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that was like the best time of my life. I, I had the most fun in my 30s. Right now, I'm having a good time as well, of course, you know? Kota Ishijima, definitely, we have to get together. We do. Kota Ishijima lives here in Tokyo, and we've been saying we got to get together. Yeah. Right now, Shabra, the 30s were amazing. But you know what? Now, Shabra, you know, this year can be amazing as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I want to do, um, now, Shabra? Because um, every time we meet each other, it's like we, we, we don't really have much time. So, uh... Next time we meet each other, we have to go drinking. We definitely have to uh, get a couple of beers and talk about life. Uh, 50s are amazing, huh? Exactly, Mindy's mom. Rob likes bourbon. Thank you so much for the super chat. Ah, have you ever gone to Karuizawa? Yes, I have. I finally call a live, live stream, yay! I'm planning a trip to Japan this December for a honeymoon. Well, welcome! Uh, first of all, congratulations um, on getting married, Rob. Um, yes, I have been to Karuizawa. I haven't been there 
in a very long time. We used to go there like often, Satoshi and I, when we first met, because his straight couple of friend has a home there, but they also have a cat. And so I, I can't really stay there. Every time I stay there, I can't sleep because I have cat allergies. And I don't know, they're kind of boring, so I get really bored. Oh, you going? You want to say bye? C come, come and say bye to them. You should say bye. Hello. Hello. And goodbye. <laughs> He's going to the, uh, the hot springs now. Enjoy. What, what, time, what time are you coming back? I don't know. You don't know? Do you have your keys? Because I'm going out. I, 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 have to, I have to repair my back. You have to repair your back. Your back, yes. Yeah, he has back pains. Everyone's saying bye. Bye. Have a, have a good time. Enjoy. Enjoy. There's this great uh, onsen near our place in Tokyo. It's really great. It's called Niwa no Yu. And it's just like 15 minutes away from here by bus. You can walk there if you want. But yeah, you actually get like spring water from, from below Tokyo. And um, the color is a little bit different and it smells different from the onsen in Hakone, for example. But it's very relaxing and the, fa the facilities are beautiful. You can spend the whole day there. It's really nice. So if you guys are interested, please let me know. Um, I will um, definitely let you know um, where, where it is so you guys can visit when you're in Tokyo. I, I definitely um, recommend it. Uh, and... Not sure, bro. Next time you come, we're all going to wine country. We want to take you both out to Napa. We will drive. Yay! Awesome. That would be great. I would love to go to wine country. Um, Katrina, how accessible is Japan? Um, like meaning like like handicapped or like like accessible in what what way? Uh, um. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just reading as quick as possible. It was, oh, for wheelchairs. Um, well, you know, I, I, I've met this couple from Australia. No, sorry, New Zealand? I think New Zealand. Australia, ah, uh, New Zealand. And uh, they came to the meetup in here. And uh, uh, one of them was in a wheelchair. And they come to Japan every year, I believe. And um, they've told me that they actually have no problems here in Japan. Uh, I, I, I know that all the transportation, the buses, the, the trains, um, it's very accessible, wheelchair accessible, no problem. All you have to do is tell the person at the train station and, and I think they do everything for you. Uh, um, yes, they, they help you. And, and then you just tell them what station you're getting off and then I think there is someone that's waiting for you at that station to help you get out of the station. Um, yeah, you do have to plan plan things out, of course, but it's pretty accessible, I think. Yeah, yeah, shouldn't be too much of a problem, really. And people are really nice here, so um, yeah, yeah, I don't think there's uh, much to worry about. JJ, you want to see 80s pics of Shinichi? Well, if you follow me on my Instagram account, there are a few pictures of me from my 80s. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Uh, Cindy Murata, it was, it was an age thing when you turned 30 you are now of the establishment, not the younger generation of hippies. True. True. Yeah. I, I think before it was a little different, you know? I think back then I think, yeah, it was a little different. I, I feel like now, like, um, I don't know. Like, you know, I, I hear younger people saying, I'm a young person, but I'm an old soul. And I, I hear young people say that all the time. And I've um, talked to some young people as well. I, I, you know, I get to meet all kinds of people from different age ranges because I do YouTube. And, um, you know, mo most of the people who, who I meet at, YouTube's, at YouTube space, they're younger than me. And um, sometimes, some of them are very mature. They don't have the life experience, but a lot of them are very mature in their thinking. Some of them even more mature than a lot of my mature friends, you know, in age. That is, so um, yeah. I think it's I think it's just a different generation. Um, I think, yeah. Um, mm, uh, 
Let's see. I feel, I feel like... <laughs> Naughty peon. That is me. I feel like I'm 35, but I feel like I'm 60. Really? Why do you feel like you're 60? 60. I don't get that. I feel like... Um, this is something I used to be embarrassed about. I no longer am embarrassed about it. I always felt like I was younger than my age and I felt that was kind of immature, maybe? Thank you, Erin. Uh, take care, Erin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, please get some rest and I'll see you next week. Bye, Erin. Um, but now I don't care, really. Like, I, I, you know, I have a little poster up there that says, don't grow up, it's a trap. I used to think I had to grow up really quickly and I had to be mature and I had to act like an adult and I tried my best doing that. I swear to God, it was the most stressful thing in my entire life and I realized that if I had to like constantly stress out about being an adult and being mature and doing the proper things at all at the right time and everything, I wasn't happy. So, uh, um, yeah. Just like, I mean, I, I, I know what's proper and I know, uh, I mean, you know, as long as I treat people with respect and kindness and um, I think that that should be enough, I think. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's me. That's me. Yeah. Um, A1, on the same topic of accessibility, what about language accessibility? Oh, um... I, I actually I think you should have no problem either. For example, Pamela from Israel, um, she speaks no Japanese and she's coming here uh, this year once again alone. The last time she came here, the first time alone, and I believe she's in her 60s, and she absolutely had no problem. She says people are so nice; they always help her out. Um, as long as you plan your vacations. I mean, I mean, you can do spur of the moment things, no problem. You, you, you shouldn't have any problem. Yeah, yeah, so no worries. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Allison, in some ways I'm like a six-year-old. In other ways I seem like I am 10. Yeah, same, same, exactly. Yeah. Brad Riley says, I think as a kid I want to be an adult. And as an adult, I want to be a kid. Yeah, same, same. Mm. Yeah, when I was 12, I couldn't wait until I became an adult. I really couldn't. I just wanted to grow up as soon as I, you know, I could. Yeah. I like what you once said. What does it mean by acting your age? Exactly, exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is very interesting. I, 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 I like um, what you guys are writing. And talking about it's very very interesting <laughs> right uh, and someone asked me about traveling but I missed it um anyway let's see so uh, yeah so I'm thinking about going to Korea or uh, Hong Kong because I realize if I don't go on a trip right now um, number one I'm gonna go crazy because I, I have a, tra you know, I love traveling. And this is a secret, but I, I probably like traveling and food a hundred times more than Satoshi. Like, he's okay. By, you know, if, if he can travel once a year, I would die. And so um, I need to travel. Because after the, the check-in, my sister, my mother, and my cousin are coming. And, and my mother is going to be here until... Uh, the end of May, which means that's five months down the line. So I realized that I need to go. And I, I also realized that as long as I get my videos done and, you know, the check-in sessions, I just have to have um, internet connection. So I thought, you know, why not? Why, why not go to Korea or Hong Kong? It's near. Both places are near, and um, um, it's not expensive, and um, you know I, I can make videos there. I can do live streams there. I'm dying to go to a foreign country and eat foreign food and just experience new stuff. And um, yeah, I, I really want to. So I I uh, I'm I'm thinking of going, 
in February <laughs> to one of these places. Uh, and yes, uh, L, 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 someone asked me, oh, LP and CG, what are these check-in sessions? Well, um, I'm, I'm uh, doing uh, these uh, stream, I can't talk anymore. Um, I was hired by the Singaporean company uh, to be uh, uh, one of their personalities for this uh, um, 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 stream for this uh, series called Check In on Channel News Asia, um, run by a media company in Singapore, and um, they are streamed on Facebook, their Facebook page, and I'm on three times a week. Um, altogether, I think I have thirty nine sessions. Not think I, I do have thirty nine sessions, and so it started in January. And um, it'll continue until the end of uh, March. So I'm still filming. And, and they're kind of fun because if you watched it live when it's actually happening, um, I'm there as well. So we, it's kind of like um, this live stream, except that I'm on chat with you guys. And we all you know, say hi and we talk about um, the video that you're watching. So it's pretty interesting. So, hope, so for those of you who watch, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, um, no, it's not on YouTube. It's only on Facebook. Yeah, I need some beverage. Yeah, I do. Mm. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Dark Paracord says, "Did they pay you well? Not bad, actually. Actually, um, I'm very, very uh, grateful for this because, hey, YouTube doesn't pay that well at the moment. Not yet for us, at least." And um, um, so this is good, this is good. And so I've been working so hard on this and then, you know, the live streams on this channel and um, the videos on the Tabi Eats channel. So I feel like, uh, yeah, I, I can, I shouldn't just spoil myself because it's not really spoiling myself. I feel like I deserve a tiny little weekend vacation to Hong Kong or Korea. Don't you agree? <laughs> So Rob says, I vote for you to go to Hong Kong. Okay, Brad, oh, thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Honey Madu is funny, isn't she? Yeah, I'm glad that you, you in, enjoy those, um, the live, the, 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 the check-in sessions. I actually enjoy making them now. Um, a, a little um, behind the scenes, you know, one, one of the, um, one, one of the, episodes coming up in March we go to a 100 yen store and we pick out five items that we can replace with 100 yen items and uh, the, 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 the challenge with this is that we actually have to get permission to film you know because they are a media company so we need the signature from the company so anyway so I contacted Daiso Ah, oyasemiyasai Mihoko-san Good night, Miyoko-san. Uh, and so they got back to me, and um, but they 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 said uh, for media purposes, I they I have to go to this uh, particular branch, which was like insanely far, insane. So yesterday, I went on the train. I think I had to transfer twice, and then I had to ride a bus. Um, like a 20 minute bus ride and it's like in the middle of nowhere and goodness it, I, it took me about two hours to get there and, and I went there um, because I, I wanted to know how it was um, lay, laid out so I can plan my filming and I had to choose um, some products the products that I wanted to showcase on the, the video and then send the pictures to Daiso and then and then and then and then, and then I have to go back to film it um, once I uh, decide what I want to say and you know how I'm going to uh, do it because the videos are quite short and they have to be filmed with no editing and so uh, yeah th that's why I'm tired because yesterday was a very long day I'm j just getting you know j the preparing to film is the hardest it's the longest process I think filming what well, is very easy for me it's not big of a deal it's just um, oh yeah, it's just, you know, uh, writing a letter to the company and then going to the place, then planning the shoot, 
timing everything and then getting the okay from the company and then getting the signature from the company and then writing out your task brief for the media company having get having it approved and then um and then actually doing the shoot so <laughs> it, that's a long process once it's filmed it's no no big deal but before filming is it takes a very long long time uh, and uh, there was another interesting question I think uh, one moment um, uh, let's see sorry uh, I need to get my redone yeah okay um, Javier and Liana hey Javier and Liana good to see you hey thanks for watching thanks for watching um, a1 forgot to ask you last time do you have any tips on how to get an how to have an unforgettable trip once I have enough money I want to travel somewhere oh I think I, I okay I think the best tip I can give you is um just just go for it I think I think just go for it don't don't think about it too much don't think about it too much yeah just 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 do it yeah this is something that uh, uh, that this is something that a lot of you guys have, have taught me um, because last year I wanted to go on a trip to San Francisco and Amsterdam but I was so afraid of traveling alone because of my you know panic attacks but yeah you guys helped me out and you guys uh, encouraged me to do it and so I did and it was the best de decision I've made in my entire life. One of the best decisions I've made in my entire life. And Namaste, India. Hello. We are actually thinking of going to India this year. We are. We actually are. Uh, um, yeah. But um, so 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 that so that's the uh, so that's the uh, the check-in session. It's it's really cool though. Um, Allison, have you gotten to know the other collaborators for the check-ins? Actually, I haven't, but um, Ruby from Hong Kong reached out to me. She said she's now a fan of my channel, so that makes me happy. And so I'm thinking, you know, if I go to Hong Kong, I can meet up with Ruby as well. So that would be kind of fun. And she seems to know all these cool people. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I, I like um, meeting all these new people um, through this. And... Um, uh, you know, like, uh, so, some some of the assignments are very challenging, especially the ones coming up in March, for example. Uh, like, um, they, they, they want me to look for a sneaker head, which I can't find, and interview this sneaker head at a, fam at a popular sneaker store. But, oh my goodness, I, that, this, this one is very difficult for me. Uh, that's difficult and then they also want me to go to a uh, celebrity restaurant so that's another difficult one <laughs> uh, let's see um, and thank you so much uh, sorry um, Sh Shinichi san wait sorry Sherry Blair uh, do you think all of the pre-production work you're doing is making you a better video maker? It is. It really is. Because we, we, I, ha I had to get permission to film at uh, Big Camera, which is a gigantic uh, electronic store here in Japan. They're a chain of electronic store, huge electronic store. Um, they don't just sell electronics, but they sell like things like Kit Kats, for example, at a good price, they sell all these kind of gadgets, and um, so um, we 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 got to film there, and um, I always, you know, I'm I'm I, I'm always in um, the words not popping into my head, but um, I I uh, casually uh, mentioned that I was a YouTuber and I have a YouTube channel. And my target audience is, uh, you know, uh, people who, who live abroad who are interested in Japan. And so a lot of them come visit here. And so I said, it would be wonderful if, you know, you would allow me to film one day for our channel. That would be great because I'm sure a lot of people would find it interesting. And he said, okay. 
He said, okay. So, uh, so this is one thing um, that the one good thing that's coming up from these uh, these uh, um, locations that I have to get permission to film for MediaCore, and I'm hoping to do the same thing with uh, Daiso. That way, maybe we can make a Daiso video. You know, I would like to do one with um, 7-Eleven as well, but that's another story because 7-Eleven actually said no, <laughs> no to the. Uh, to the uh, to the check-in sessions, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, Diana says, Shinichi, what are two must bring with with if you have if you travel overseas? Um, passport, but I guess you know that. Um, um, money and credit cards. So I guess you know that too. Um, hmm. Hmm. What two things? Hmm. Mm. Phone. Jean Jace's phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phone. I, I always bring my smartphone and I always make sure to um, buy a SIM card. Yeah, that way I can use my phone. With, with your smartphone, the smartphone helps so, so much. So much. Uh, Alright, so I think I am going to Hong Kong. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, definitely. All right, so, yep, I am thinking of going to Hong Kong for sure, for sure. Most likely, I will be going to Hong Kong. I know Lawrence is really stressed out from his job, um, and um, he'll be happy to see me, and Jean is there. I, I hope I can arrange my schedule around yours, Jean, because I know that, you know, you're going to Bangkok, I think. But we'll see, I have to see. Um, in February, we will we are going to Beppu. Um, uh, we were invited by this um, onsen resort um, in Oita Prefecture, and um, yeah, we got permission to film inside the onsen as well. So um, stay tuned for that video. I'm really looking forward to um, 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 that one. I really am. Plus, I'm really dying to just go to. Um, the onsen so badly, it's so relaxing. I haven't been to one in a while, and um, hopefully the Akita one pans out as well too. Yeah. Anyway, um, I guess that's it. Um, I would be more. I would be making more videos, more live streams for you guys on this channel. Um, please, um, if if you guys have places that you want me to go, um, um, let me know. Um, Domestically, of course, or, or around Tokyo. If you if you have places that you would like me to live stream, that would be great. Because I, I know we have a lot of places to film here, but I'm running out of ideas for the live streams. I don't know why. I shouldn't be running out of ideas. Tokyo is such a big city, you know? So please, uh, um, um, write down suggestions. That would help me out a lot. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, thank you to my wonderful moderators and thank you to the rest of you. I am actually getting really sleepy right now. But I can't sleep. I have dinner appointment today. And um, yeah, but um, maybe I'll make it a very short dinner and um, I will uh, come home and get an early night's rest because from tomorrow, it's, it's going to be a long week. Long week. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today. Ah, thank you, Felix and Jean. I appreciate that. Reddit, thank you. Great idea. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Good night.